Atlanta police want to find the man who fired at least five rounds into a gas station on Metropolitan Parkway. Surveillance video released by police today seems to show the man firing recklessly into the store. Thankfully, no one was hit, despite people being inside at the time. But Fox News' Eric Mock shows you this is not the first time this gas station has seen gun violence. Well, employees of this gas station tell me the man shot into the store through this window, and they tell me there were people in this section of the store when he opened fire. Atlanta police investigators want to find this man who fired at least five rounds into this gas station off of Metropolitan Parkway in Atlanta in July. The video, released Thursday by police, shows him seeming to do it almost casually, not caring where his bullets fly. An employee of the store who didn't want to go on camera shared this photo of the bullet holes in the window. He told me the man had played the slot machines that night and got into an argument with other people who were playing next to him. The employee said it appeared the man had been drinking heavily before going outside, getting a gun, and firing into the area of the store with the slot machines. It's disheartening, but unfortunately it's not surprising this day and time. Brenda Hodges frequents this gas station with her family. They have best gas prices in the area, so to hear that, you know, as I said, it's disheartening, but not surprising. Not surprising to her because this location has seen shootings before. This is video that same employee took of a fight that led up to a shooting here in July of last year, where a man was shot in the hand after a fight. You can see in surveillance video this man holding a gun before getting into the scuffle that resulted in the shooting. If you disagree or you have an issue, then this is certainly not the way to resolve it. Now APD says they need the public's help to find this man. Hodges says she hopes they find him before he again uses a gun so recklessly. And Atlanta police need your help to find this man. You can submit a tip anonymously through Crime Stoppers and still be eligible for a $2,000 reward. For now reporting in Atlanta Eric Mock, Fox 5 News.